the Philippines. Do you know the one thing I dislike most about the Philippines? Not the food, nor the Filipinas, the insects, or the weather. It's the fact that one day you're going to die. It's all going to be gone. And that's why it's so important to grasp every day and live it to the max. Nobody knows when their number is up. You could be 45, you could be 102 or somewhere in between. But sure as night follows day, you're going to die someday. I do think about it occasionally. That's why I make sure everything will be set up for my wife and my child financially. There'll be no problems there. I enjoy every day I have here, even the boring days, because truthfully, they're never really boring. I might not always do a lot, I might not always go to town, but I'm just happy to live this life. I'm just happy to have had the good fortune, the opportunity to have lived it. I don't know how many years I've got. I have to make the best of it. I have a young child. I would just make the best of everything I can. Do I wish I could have been younger and come here to the Philippines? Of course, doesn't everyone? But it wasn't to be. It was what it was. And like I say, you've got to embrace the fact it's better late than never. Hey, you could never have come here and you're going to die anyway. So you might as well be happy in a place you want to live with a person you want to live with. And like I say, enjoy all the experiences that the Philippines brings you. You know, you can be in the West until your last breath. And some people in the West would have had a great life. For them, the cookie crumbled in the right direction. But for others, they weren't quite so lucky. Bad luck here, bad luck there. Very little good fortune. And their lives became like a never ending marathon and your legs began to get tired and cramped but still you had to uh, run and run and run waiting for the tide to turn waiting for the finishing line of victory but alas for a lot of people in the west it doesn't happen that way. And the marathon is never ending. So when you decide to come here to the Philippines as an expat and live and marry your Filipina, the marathon no longer exists. Your legs, they'll ache. For a while. You may even get muscle cramp for a while, but that'll fade with time <clears throat> and you'll live the life you never thought you'd find. And as I started this video, one day it's all going to end. Of course, I suppose, Perhaps the worst thing that could happen is if you're with a younger Filipina, she dies before you. 
that's also a possibility. I can't think of anything more ghastly, but it can happen. So what's my takeaway? What's my take out about my move to the Philippines? It was the best decision I ever made. I made it and executed it when I was able. I didn't procrastinate any longer than I needed to once I knew I was able to do it. We were right in the middle of the pandemic. It wasn't easy, but I did what I needed to do to find salvation, to find peace, to find tranquility. Now, when your turn comes to choose that way and stay, or that way and gamble, when it's your time, embrace that moment, kick away your doubts and just do it. Because as you know, time slips away so, so quickly. It'd be great if you could stop it, time that is, but you can't. And better, you lived five minutes in happiness than a thousand years being lonely, being unhappy. You've got this one chance. You've got this one moment. You've got that split decision to do what's needed to be done. You can always put things off until tomorrow. Perhaps you'll die before tomorrow arrives. Perhaps you won't. Perhaps you'll live another day. And perhaps you won't. Life is very short, but life is for living. What's the point of just exist, uh, existing and being nothing more than a walking dead, a zombie, if you will? Come to the Philippines. I don't know how many years you'll have here. I hope you have many, many, many. But enjoy whatever you have here. And rejoice in the fact that you had the courage to do what was right for you. When so many just don't have that. They don't have that ability to change direction. They don't have that ability to finally find happiness. They live in their world, whatever that world is, and they've just grown to accept it. It's always going to be that way. And those people, they're going to die. The same as you're going to die in the Philippines, there's no escape from the Grim Reaper. But what would you rather do? Live like a zombie? Until the Grim Reaper calls you? Or would you rather an alternative existence? Where you've actually lived and enjoyed every moment until the Grim Reaper calls you. Life is not a dress rehearsal for something more. It's here one time. Whether you believe in heaven, whether you believe in reincarnation, that's by the by. It's here for one time. And if you don't make the best of it, 
I will. Someone else will. I don't know who you are, as you don't know who I am. All you know about me, truly, is I'm here in the Philippines. I found the life I sought. I know some of you from your comments, good or bad. I respect you, but I don't know you. I don't know what you're capable of. I try and motivate where possible. But I don't know whether you really listen. When I do a 40 minute video, it's a long video. Perhaps you listen to three minutes and then click off, which is fair enough. But everything I do is for a purpose, not on purpose. It's to give you the inner strength, or to try to give you the inner strength, to be able to live your final years, whatever those final years are. Could be 25, could be 30, could be 30 plus, and it could be 10 or 11 or 12. It's so you have experienced the fullness of life. Not the emptiness that you've lived back home. Let's talk about making love as opposed to having sex. Well, that's a funny um, thing you've just said, Phil. No, here's my point. It kind of dovetails into what I've been talking about. Right, let's say you're in the West and you go to a prostitute. You pay her for the transaction involved. You're having sex. You have an orgasm. It's just sex. But when you meet somebody you truly love, and they truly love you, you're no longer just having sex, you're making love. You're living life to its full, F-U-L-L. -L. And that's what coming to the Philippines really is about. We have a finite time here. Live it to its full while you're able because one of these sweet old days your body will betray you 